So guys, we did not actually reach our goal for this episode. Nope. We were under the impression, because we're idiots, that they added a campfire block. Apparently it's complicated and involves lava pits and all sorts of other crazy stuff. So we will not be building a campfire <laughs> anytime soon. Sorry. Yeah, sorry guys. Well, see ya! Come. Oh, Jesus, creeper! Look out! <laughs> oh, de Dead. <laughs> All right. well, I was I was in third person while we were like, oh crap! Here it comes. Oh damn! <laughs> so that's my intro. Works for me. <laughs> I was recording. Oh then. man. <laughs> so that's cool. All right. All right. Well then, in that case, hey guys, Gregz96 here, along with this guy. Captain Hook 5150, what's going down? Playing some Survival Episode 2. Episode 2. Yes. Alright, so what's going on this episode? Uh, for one, we're starting in the daytime. Oh, that helps, yes. <laughs> Without. Uh, <creepers>. Yeah. <laughs> no more creepers. We got those taken care of. So, I'm thinking this episode. Um, I feel like we spent the whole last episode mining. It felt like it. We do need resources, but I definitely don't want to spend the whole episode mining. <laughs> no, I, I would kind of like to... Um, did I get anything growing? Because I usually start a farm, and I don't remember if I started any of that. We, we started growing some... Sh yeah, there's some weed over here by the lake. Yeah, we haven't touched this world in, like, over a week. <laughs> yeah, that's true. It's uh, College life, you know, that'll keep you busy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we got some wheat growing over here. Completely lost... I'm lost without a mini map in my corner. <laughs> mm, I, <Where> yeah. <laughs> I really don't know where that is. Okay, so oh, the okay, I see it. Yeah, there, you, there you go. So we got wheat there over in the swamp. We have some sugar cane growing. I don't know why we grew it over there instead of along the shoreline, but that's yeah, that sounds like something weird I would do. <laughs> Let's fix that. <laughs> That just doesn't make any sense. Uh, that sounds like something I would do. Okay, we got a donkey over here. We have several donkeys, actually. All right, rock on. I'm going to collect some mushrooms so we can have some mushroom stew, possibly. Yeah, that would probably be smart since we don't exactly have animals. We right. kind of killed all the cows. Oh, yeah, we did. Oops. Well, there's some over by the mountain, if I remember. Yeah, there, there's the sugar cane. I think that's where we're growing the sugar cane. I'm about already 150 blocks away. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Cause oh, a, that is not where we're growing the sugar cane. There's huh. a desert. Let me get my render distance. Why did I have it down on me? I had to have it down because earlier I was experiencing an issue that in the nether, 32 chunks was being weird. Hmm. Well, I was down to like 7 for some reason. I don't know hmm. if I was... Oh, you know what? I'm I'm on a different computer, and I think I was doing an adventure map that one of the settings was you had to have it down at, at a lower... Ah, gotcha. Thing. So I'm over at the desert, and there's cactus and stuff over there. I don't think we really need that right now. No, nah, we'll need... We'll want cactus for banners, though. Yeah. Oh, that's right. We are in 1.8. So we can have all that cool stuff. And Horses. campfires. I think we need to figure out how to make a campfire. <laughs> Yeah, that would I. Don't I have no idea how to do it, but. <laughs> I wonder if that would be something similar to like how it is in like Terra Firma Craft. Perhaps I know like there's a campfire block now. Okay. Where the hell did that sugar cane go? I know I saw it before we started recording. I'll grab some over here in the desert. I'm getting. I mean, cats. yeah, I found nine, but we had like thirty or something. And I just replanted it all without even thinking about like, oh, hey, let's move this closer. Over here, maybe? Oh. Interesting. Oh, we'll just find a random circle of sugar cane eventually. <laughs> It'll, it's somewhere. Somewhere in the world. Mm-hmm. It's not like it's infinite, right? Right. <laughs> interesting over here. I mean, the desert, there's... Weird. If it's just random, I don't know. It's, it's. 
weird sand. Well, it's like sandstone, but the way it's the way it's shaped, it looks like it could have been part of something. Ah. I'm gonna climb up to the top of it here. Get up. Climb up to the top and see what you can see. Yeah, there's this just ah. oddly shaped. What? Is that? Odd... Oh, hey. Haha. <laughs> Never mind. The sugar cane was not in the swamp. I don't know why I thought it was in the swamp. <laughs> I found it. It's in that little pond right by the cave. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, you know, it has been a week. Yeah. <laughs> so. Oh, man. I'm going to dig straight down. Be careful. It's sand. never seen sandstone st stacked like this without... Oh, hey, yeah, I see that. And there's really nothing. That... Oh, damn. I wish I grabbed food. Oh, well. I'll wander. That is weird. Yeah, and, I, and I'm in the middle of it, and there's nothing. There's it's... no rooms or anything. I think, I think I'm seeing the same thing as you were talking about. I'll, I'll, I'll know when I see a name tag, but the hell that's odd yeah I'm trying to find my oops, trying to find my way out now could just be weird generation I guess yeah that's I'm gonna chalk it up to that you know what I don't know what level I'm at I am at 63 oh there's your name tag you're almost out I think I don't know come to the lot what the hell I had your name tag there it is Oh, and I lost it as I got closer. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I'm going like way too far. I feel like maybe I should be going up. That might be a good idea. Just sand is a thing. Oh, I see your name tag. Again. Ah, Let's try okay. not to lose it. I see it. I, s I come coming to the outside. Yep. And I was down to it. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Fancy meeting you here. Yeah. Come here often? <laughs> I try not to. <sighs> All right. Just in time for night. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, that's a skeleton. Zombie. Crap. We'll be fine. See, the zombie's turning around and running. He's scared of me. As he should be. Well, he's seen what you can do to a computer, so. Yeah, I know. That video. He was terrified. Scared <laughs> him. Sh scared him shitless. Uh, that. That. Oh. It reminded me so much oh. of the office. Or office space, I should say. <laughs> when they were beating the living shit out of the printer. <laughs> oh, yep. Ah. Uh. Took us a good hour to clean it up, and he's still finding keyboard keys. Oh, I bet. He will be for a long time. Question is, where were we in relation to the desert? You know what? I think... I... <laughs> think <laughs> we were... We're lost. Over there, maybe? That's a spider, damn it. Not, that's a dead spider. We yeah, we're, okay, up. we're over this way. Yeah. That's multiple up. spiders. Okay. Oh, God. I'm coming! I'm coming! Oh, you don't need my help. I have no, I have no food bars left. <laughs> um, do I have any food on me? I have... No. I have nothing. I think I can make it back to the base. I have five hearts. Oh, alright. I should be good. I think. It's just that spider worries me. The spiders are fast. Yeah, they are. Zombies don't scare me. Spiders, they're a problem. I shall try and deflect them. Oh, so, I don't know. I, com I think I commented on the video, maybe. That one with the, uh, the weird plot with where they were like, oh, you've been captured and you have to escape and all oh. that. 
Wait, where they were trying to take control of you? That door you couldn't figure out how to get through. There was a button right next to it. I was, <laughs> I was raging. You know, I'm just like, err, screw this effing thing. I can't do it. Oh, I found our opening. Quick, get in. Spider. There we go. Okay, I'm safe. <laughs> This thing's probably filled with mobs, though, by now. Who knows? I hope it's not filled with mobs. I just I just want food. Dun, 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 dun. I'm hoping we have food down here. I think we have a few steak. That's good. I only found brown mushrooms. Of course. I think we have some red, maybe? Ah, uh, yeah, we have brown mushrooms. We don't have any red mushrooms. We have eight raw chicken. Oh, all right. That's helpful. That's good. Oh, we have 44 iron ingots, too. That's also helpful. Not for that food, is. but that's helpful. And we have some rotten flesh, which I can use to nom on until that cooks. <laughs> nom, 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 nom. Oh, hey, I didn't get hunger from that one. I'm going to quit while I'm ahead. <laughs> I want... Should I... There's three eggs in here. We can try and... Do we have pumpkins? Chickens? Do we have pumpkins? That oh, we have, oh, we have three pumpkins yes. and we have sugar cane. Oh, I have five eggs. Awesome. We have eggs, pumpkins, and sugar canes. We can do this. There's a raw We're, potato. Oh, we can cook that up. Actually, no, we have not started a potato farm. We cannot cook oh, that that's up. That's right. That's right. Um. All right. There's some pumpkin pies in that chest. Pumpkin pie. Uh, we have some cooked chicken now. There's going to be four in there for you. I think I should be okay until morning. Let me see. Yeah, I got five, five hunger left, so I should be okay until morning. And I got a fish. Oh, and there's another raw chicken in there that we can throw in the furnace. And then there's four cooked steak in this chest. Okay, I just grabbed one then. Oops. Yeah. One. <laughs> I'm thinking making a chicken pit's a good idea. Yeah, I'm going to make a chicken pit. Sounds perfect. So I think in the morning, then, I'm going to do some fish and some... Oh, hey, I found some iron. Nice. That doesn't help with the chicken situation, but... No, but... <laughs> iron is still a good thing. <clears throat> we, we will be more efficient killers with more iron. <laughs> While I'm waiting for morning, I think I'm going to do some little strip mining over here, looking for diamond. diamonds. Mm -hmm. There we go. I'm at 12. I got one baby chicken from those five eggs. I'm not going to complain. One's better than none. Mm -hmm. And we don't have, we're not doing too bad on food, so. Remember how last episode we were talking about how we were going to attempt to keep it organized? Yeah. That's already gone out the window. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Okay. Awesome. So, yeah, we're, we are doing pretty good on the materials right now. I would just like more food, which we can't really do anything about till daytime. Right. So I think I'm just going to keep moving the strip mine back. So much of this new stone. Yeah. It's all over the place. I think they probably just made it like equal chance of it being that versus actual stone. That's unfortunate. I know. <laughs> I just... Like there's no use for the stuff. Yeah, that's. I wish you know if, if there was something I use for it, then I might be a little bit more excited about it. But it's, yeah, it's just it's a new building nuts. block. Yeah. Like I'm excited about being able to get sponge. Yeah, I'm down with sponge. It, it's very hard to get though. We tried to conquer. Uh, two of us tried to conquer one of those, and it took us about twenty minutes. Oh wow! And we had uh, water breathing potions, resistance potions. Full protection for diamond armor. Holy. And it took Cause, that long? Well, because here's the problem. Once you get in there, it's very hard to move around because you get mining fatigue. Oh. So you can't, like, break blocks to get out or anything. Oh. So you have to fight through all of these guardians, and then you can get into where you need to be and actually do stuff. That sucks. <laughs> it's a fun challenge, though, once you have gear. But, you know... 
getting the gear is the challenging part. Oh, of course, I'm that much of a professional. I remembered to put myself on D&D &D on Skype, and I forgot to take care of it on uh, Facebook. Uh, so pro. Alright. <laughs> <sighs> ah. I got lucky as soon as I opened it up. Uh, I had an incoming call. I'm like, oh, I gotta take care of that now. So I don't know I think I would have forgotten it. Yeah. <sighs> tons of coal. Yeah, I'm actually starting to come into tons of iron. So, that's good. Maybe I'll make myself some armor. <laughs> That'd be, yeah. Because I got... Yeah, I think you got full, and I haven't even tried to make anything. <laughs> I've just been like, screw it, I'll go through it. It's fine. Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> Mr. Popo, you can leave the tower, bitch. Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to... I th it's been long enough. I think I'm going to find, find my way back up. I think it's probably close to daytime. That I feel like it should be. Mm. So. Yeah. Head on up. Yeah, I think I'll just go collect the iron at the end of this tunnel. Slowly but surely, we are making our way. We will become the richest people on the server. <laughs> that yes, <laughs> that is a good goal for us. I think we can achieve it. I hope so. <laughs> Sounds challenging. <laughs> Unless I start whitelisting people, I think we got it. It is daytime, so. Okay. I think that's a good time to go out and get food, then, instead of messing around down here. Yep. Not this iron cook-up. And then we'll figure it out. I about fell down that big freaking hole. <laughs> Holy. Oof, that's steep. Ugh. So I'm gonna catch some fish. So I have the stats up for that new video on my side screen on my second monitor, and it's great. It's only been up for like an hour, and it's already got 40 views. <laughs> nice, that's awesome. Just makes me so happy when we have videos like that. That's like the um, the last one we did, the what the Friday your IP can kill you. Within yeah. three hours, it had 90 views. That's awesome. Now it's a week later and it's at 93. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about a tease. Uh, like, that was a video I really thought had a chance of being successful. Because, like, no one had talked about that. That's true. That was the first time I'd heard of it when I watched it. Like, I did not know that. So, like, it just, it was upsetting. It was like, come on. This couldn't have gotten any more popularity. Like, we're pushing still to try to get the second video between all five of us in the network channel to reach 100 views. We only had one video reach 100. Where's that one at? Ah, uh, that is on one of my older videos on a video game, a Flash game specifically, that everyone gave me crap about and how such a horrible game and no one would want to watch that. <laughs> and, ep and episode two hit 100 views. Nice. After about a year. <laughs> well. But I, I'm honestly amazed that that's one of them. Because my commentary back then was so horrible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, oh, I man. I like to look at stuff that I did a year ago. And yeah. Uh, well, that's like for the one, the actual one-year anniversary of my channel. Me and the guy who recorded my first video with me, we did a reaction video of going back and watching my first video. Oh, wow. <laughs> that was painful. That would be kind of cool, though. Yeah, oh, it was definitely cool. It was painful. And <laughs> apparently, though, I'm starting to make it on YouTube because I got my first troll comment. Really? <laughs> yes. So I'm making it, I guess. All right. That's I, a step in, the st <laughs> step in the right direction. Yep. I got it. Oh, I just realized I don't have my feather falling on this server. <laughs> I guess. Oh, well. So, uh, yeah. So it was a comment on that uh, magic video I put up last week. Yeah. It was... uh. Magic isn't real, you idiot. Read a book. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's <laughs> nice. Uh, it made my day to realize that people are now spending their time, instead of doing anything for their life, trying to put me down. 
Yeah. That's a good feeling. <laughs> <laughs> so my response was, thank you for the constructive comment. I actually do read a lot of books. My favorite one is on manners. <laughs> nice. Nice <sighs> cutback. I, had, I was doing a... I'm doing a Let's Play series on this mod pack called uh, Hermit Craft Mod Sauce. Oh, yep. The, okay. And I've never played it before, so this one, this one guy's like, haven't you ever played this mod? Um, post is like wooden and three planks or something like that. And, and I'm like, nah, I have not played this uh, mod pack before. I can't get past the stupid name. Thank <laughs> you for your suggestion. Uh, like... I don't mind comments that are like, you know, disliking my video, like if they're actually helping and trying to tell me how to improve, but stuff like that is just worthless. Yeah, that's somebody that has some time on their hands that's bored. Yeah, exactly. It's like, whatever, thank you for taking the time to comment. Yeah, exactly. Th that's... Thank you for commenting and putting my video on your feed. And then thank you for subscribing. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> thank you for subscribing, thank you for coming back to the rest of my videos to do the same stupid shit. Oh, yeah, I see it. Puts my view count up. <laughs> you know, and, and I don't know about you, but like almost all the other comments that I get are relatively positive. Oh yeah, no, like that was the first remotely negative comment I've gotten on this channel. Only on one other video, and that was on my old channel. Did I ever get a negative comment? Ah, and that was from like one of those accounts that like as soon as they made the comment, they deleted the count account, so the comment was just there as like oh. YouTube user. Okay. <laughs> Although, you know, I <laughs> I don't really know how to take this one comment. Yesterday I had a, a comment that <laughs> he said that watching this video gave him cancer. So I don't know <laughs> how to take that. <laughs> um. Because it was, I, I did an adventure map. So Was the know. adventure map just bad? See, I thought so, but... Or did he just the, not like your stuff? It was the sequel to a to a Dreams, which I thought the original Dreams map was kind of god awful. Mm -hmm. But there's a decent amount of views on it, so I'm like, all right, it's part of a trilogy. I'll do part two. And so I did part two, and then he, he commented that <laughs> this video gave me cancer. Gave cancer. So I don't know if he's talking about. <laughs> Is the map bad? Yeah. Does he hate you? It's the map's weird. I mean, a lot of time was put into it, but it's like all of a sudden they like threw in. It's like, okay, we're done with this map. Here's the ending. <laughs> so they can do part three. I yeah. don't know. It's... Come back for the next one. We just, it's like DLC. It's like DLC yeah. in video games. We're just going to chunk it up so you have to keep coming back. <laughs> nice. Pay $50 for the game. Pay $20 for your live subscription. Pay $20 for each of the DLC to get a full game. And by the time it's all said and done, you have 90% of a game for $400. Have a nice day. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for playing. Thanks, EA. <laughs> yeah. Are we going to get Sims 4 DLC to make it a complete game actually good like Sims 3? <laughs> well, it depends. How much are you willing to pay? Exactly. Oh, wait, no, hold on. It's a fresh EA release. That means it's in its uh, consumer beta test, not really beta test phase, right? <laughs> right. And then there's got to be expansion packs. Oh, yeah, of course. <sighs> I can't get behind it when companies start pulling that crap. No, get expansion packs on the expansion packs. It's like, why don't you just ask for money next time? Yeah, just just create a video game <laughs> where we buy it, and then we go to a menu screen. It's like, give us money, <laughs> like a fancy dancing graphic. Yeah, I think that would be more likely to make me give a company money. Oh, I was forcibly closed by the remote host. Really? Hmm. I didn't get anything. According to my... this, though, I am still on the server. Yeah, I didn't get... Oh, now I see that it says... Great. I, w I was hovering over the server thing, and it still said there was two people. Oh, yeah, I am lagged back a lot compared to where I was. So if I go down here, I bet the iron ore will still be there. Yep. Hey, guys, you get to see me mine it again. Deja vu. It's raining, so I wonder if that has something to do with it. Possibly. That was odd, though. Darn, I, I don't have the cooked chicken anymore, though. <laughs> oh, well. I am going. To, I caught some fish, so I'm going to put them in. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, no. That, actually, no. That's false. That was not the only troll comment I've gotten on this channel. The only other one was during a Twitch stream, and the wow. guy was like, "Would you please pick your nose?" <laughs> really? <laughs> yep. It's the only other troll comment I've gotten. <laughs> okay. 
I said maybe if you're into that sort of thing and follow. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, I don't know. I like messing with the trolls. I just wish I got more trolls to mess with. See, my Twitch, the the people that follow me on Twitch, those guys are awesome. I should, I'm just grouping them in as guys. I don't know if they're guys or guys. But, you know, Th- those fine people. <laughs> yes, they're awesome. I, they kept me on for like two hours the other night. Where are you at? I am down in a cave. I just went running around looking for animals far away so we didn't ruin our resources here. <laughs> okay. I, I've got 28 raw pork, 25 raw chicken, 19 raw beef, and 5 raw mutton. Wow. Okay. I, I've been hunting. I guess. <laughs> um, so I put... I was going to leave the iron in the furnace for you to take out because then you would get the experience for it. Yeah, don't worry about it. Oh, it's nighttime. Awesome. I'm going to eat the raw mutton. Mutton. So I can at least sprint. <laughs> Oh, crap. Good thing to know might be what the cords are. I have um, no idea where I'm going. I am at negative 99 and 238. Yep, I was running the wrong way. Negative 238 or positive? Positive. Oh, I'm a couple hundred blocks away. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Time flies when you're killing stuff. Yep. Like laptops. <laughs> I should screenshot this. There's a kid on one of the... Uh, Minecraft Facebook forums was posting, he did a screenshot of his Minecraft and he was at 150 some FPS and he was bragging it up saying that his computer was $8,000 computer and I'm know, recording in the rain getting about 150 <laughs> yeah and so meanwhile I'm looking at his screenshot and of course he's in vanilla and then he's using 32 bit Java so I say something about his Java, and then he says, please help me. I, I got this, and I'm a premium account. I'm like, what the hell is a premium account got to do with anything that I'm talking about? And so then I said, well, whoever charged you $8,000, have them help you. Because if you're paying $8,000 for a computer, that's way too damn much. Especially for 32-bit? Yes. <sighs> like, goddamn. You need at least a 64-bit architecture for anything, really. Oh, exactly. It's like, I don't know. Like, I don't think I've used a 30-bit, 2-bit computer maybe in four years. I, I'm trying. Probably the last one I I did was, no, if, no not like my parents ever watched this, was at my parents' house because they don't know any better. Yeah, well, if you're just, like, browsing the internet and checking email and stuff, 32-bit's fine. You know? Right. I just, it, to me, it just baffles me that companies even still sell 32-bit. I have no idea. I mean, I guess they're selling them, so... But, so, you know, they some they come with, like, another creeper. I had a boot nuke. Yeah. Computer. And so I put, I'm like, okay, I'll put Windows 8 one on it. Mm-hmm. And so I went and bought it instead of just downloading it. Mm-hmm. And it came with both 64 and 32-bit. 32, 32 right. Well, yeah, bits. because Windows has to make both because some people still put 32-bit architecture processors in their computer builds, which I, is weird. Yeah, I don't understand why. Like, with the amount of money you're paying for a quality processor now, I don't know why you wouldn't just spend the extra 50 to 100 to go to the 64-bit version. I mean, I, I'll be honest, I'm pulling the 50 to 100 out of my ass, but I know it's not that much more expensive for the 64-bit version. No. And 32-bit has not been relevant in anything since a phone in the past couple of years. <laughs> and now we're even getting 64-bit smartphones. Yes. Which don't even... There's no need for a smartphone to be 64 bits. That's not necessary. Until you have... (laughs) Honestly, like, I I can't even see why it's necessary. Like, my dad has an iPhone 5S, which is the 64-bit... Basically, it's a 64-bit version of an iPhone 4S. (laughs) Where is the opening to the cave? Hey, I've managed to find my way back. Yep, there is the cobblestone protecting us. I can't believe I didn't die. Uh oh. That's not a good sign. 
I kind of fell, and I'm in a dark place. <laughs> I see, yeah, because I saw your name tag, and that disappeared. <laughs> I'll pull that iron out to cook the fishies. Oh, hey, we have another furnace and more coal. I guess I'll set that up. Let's see what I can do here. I can eat a rotten flesh. I ain't crap. And then a raw salmon. Does that counteract the... And just don't move around and you'll be fine. I have two puffer fish. Ah, oh, those will poison you. Yeah. Where are you at? I am... At negative 192 and 207. Did you go somewhere down in the cave? Accidentally. Were you... Which one of the arms were you off? That one right to the right of the stairs or the one up the stairs a little bit? You know, I don't know because I fell and then I was running away because I was being hit by four skeletons and three zombies. Ah. So I kind of lost my way and this, this place is huge. Oh. Hmm... I'm down at level 38, so I'm not, like, down at incredibly low. I need to get some more iron, so that's kind of cool. Yeah. But I need it's nice to know how to get that iron back to the base. <laughs> right. Well, I'm going to have to start digging up. Which is... That's a scary option. <laughs> yeah, especially considering there's there's lava all around here. Hmm. You were definitely off one of the branches, though. Yeah. All right, I'll just take a look. See. Did you go through a cave before you fell, or were you just one of the branches? Uh, I think it was one of the branches, and then, and then there is a. Uh, I didn't really get to see where I was going to when I fell down the hole. Gotcha. So you're just in one of the branches, probably. Yeah. But it's like, it's a huge, huge cave system. Let's see if I can... What'd you say your cords were? Right now, I am at... Uh, negative 193 and 246. Positive 246. Yikes. You're that way. You're under the stairs, basically. Okay. I mean, if you, if you dig up from where you are, you're close by. Alright. Right, because uh, cause Pirates of the Caribbean music helps everything. Yes. And mouth music bypasses all copyright laws. Public domain, right? Something like that. <laughs> I hope so. I keep getting these um, cannot monetize uh, this certain video. And I'm like, dude, that video was from like, you know, almost a year ago. It's when I used what I thought you know, was was it was labeled as free music. Which, of course, you know they change everything. Mm-hmm. Oh, now you cannot monetize it. Okay. Yeah. You want like the point three cents I made off of it? Yeah, I'll gladly give it to you. Yeah. That's like I finally earned my first YouTube cent. <laughs> cent. Yep. Nice. I know. I'm making it big time. <laughs> I saw the, uh, are you with a company? I am with Freedom. Okay, I'm with Maker Jet. Yeah. And so the way they do things is they, I can't see anything that it, that I've done for August. I can see what I've made for July. Yep. Oh, here's the stairs. Sweet. Woohoo. Um, <laughs> oh, thank God you're here. Ah, um, this is, you found a cave. Yes. There we go. Yeah. So anyway. <laughs> I made in the month of July 93 cents. Woohoo! Yes. That's the big time. 
In the month of August, I made a cent, and that doesn't get paid to me till October. <laughs> well, and with Maker Jen, it has to be 50 bucks, otherwise they aren't going to mail you out the money, so. Ah, I get paid direct to PayPal. Nice. So. So you'll get paid in about two years at that rate. Right, yeah. <laughs> well, you know, I... Well, that's, that's the reason I like the... F- Freedom Network a little bit better than just doing it my own through AdSense because oh. AdSense is $100 or else they won't pay you. Yeah. Whereas Freedom, even if you earn a cent, they pay you that cent to your PayPal. Oh, wow. And the other thing about Freedom is based on the number of views you get, it opens up specific, uh, certain network specific sponsorships with companies and whatnot. Oh, that's And crazy. they have um, their own two li- libraries of royalty free music for users. And as well as, I think it's uh, Epic Sound has a library of 25,000 songs that I have access to for being a part of the Freedom Network. Nice. So that's all good stuff. Here you go. Need some food. Uh, Actually, yeah. Got some pork chops. Pork and ap- chops. No applesauce, though. Ah. Uh, Darn. Well, beggars can't be choosers. Yeah, this is true. I'm going to put a bunch of this stuff in here. Oh, and we got some steak cooking in the bottom one. Nice. I'm going, when it's, um, I guess it be day, I'm going to go plant the potatoes so we can get potato farm growing. Mm-hmm. There's a spider eye for when we get potions. Yeah. I'm going to make some sticks if we have wood, which we do, and make a ladder for the chicken farm. Oh, more wood. Awesome. Oh, yeah. And then we'll pop this out, and I have two chests from up top. So we'll set down more chests. Boom, boom. When I was fishing, I caught ten ink sacks. <laughs> so. I don't understand how that one works. Me either. I, I like catching diamonds, though. That's a fun one. I have not caught diamonds yet. I've only done it once. I guess it's a it, it's probably a rare thing, and that would make sense. We have one chicken. Uh, I don't know if we have more eggs, but I had two eggs, and that was enough for one chicken. Yeah, we don't have more eggs. We'll get more chickens eventually. But I'm not going to try to get them down here with seeds or leads or anything. That's stupid. Yes, it's there. I mean, as long as we keep breeding them outside... It's not like they're that far away. Yeah, and if we can happen to get some with um, eggs, we're fine. We're we're good. Not even that needing. Not even that. That's even a big deal. It would just be convenient. Yeah. Oh, and then we got plenty of lapis when it comes to enchanting time. Sounds like uh, Xander's having a good time. <laughs> yeah, he's playing uh, Plants vs Zombies. On the Xbox. I've heard Plants vs. Zombies is good. I just, I don't have an Xbox, so. It's, I don't know, I'm, I watch him. I don't really play it. I, I know that the, the Garden Warfare is a lot, I'm going the wrong way. The Garden Warfare is a lot f- uh, funner <laughs> to watch than the first one. The first original Plants vs. Mm-hmm. Zombies. I thought that was dumb yes! as hell. But he got him! Kind of, yeah, this is just <laughs> kind of a more in the lines of like a first person shooter type thing. Gotcha. Except you're like, right now he's a he's a P. <laughs> yep. Nice. Yeah. You know, I'm surprised no organization has challenged that game on promoting uh, not being eco-friendly. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, that's totally something that would happen. Peta. It's the unethical treatment of zombies, or it's the unethical treatment of plants. Plants, yeah. That's a you're you're exploiting a daffodil. <laughs> That's up. not okay. That daffodil yeah. deserves an attorney, and we're gonna make the state and the taxes pay for one. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. I mean, that's the direction everything's heading. Yeah, I know. It's it's yeah. horrible. So, are we going to have any news on some Ultra Hardcore? Oh, yes, we do have some news. Nothing very specific yet. 
But we do have the um, possible competitors. There's um, eight of us right now that are willing to do it. So, to all of my viewers, you'll recognize, obviously, all the guys in Big Box. So, Sam Liberty, Noel Griffin, me. Uh, you guys will also recognize Castle Gamer, the guys over there, Rob and Ed. And then Captain Hook has been confirmed. Yes. So, we shall see how this goes because <laughs> now we just have to get everyone's schedules all lined up <laughs> <laughs> that could take take some doing that could take years <laughs> oh apples oh speaking of apples what is your opinion on a quote unquote bend the gate <laughs> uh, well it didn't happen to me yeah, exactly. So uh, I don't really, I didn't formulate a very strong opinion either way. That's understandable. Um, the formulated opinion I have is actually from a recent video, sh doing uh, with a machine bend tests on a lot of top of the line smartphones, and I think it was the Moto G in the HTC One M8 bent before the iPhone 6, and then I realized what the problem was. People who own Android phones are not wearing skinny jeans and total hipsters. <laughs> <laughs> so therefore, they don't have the problem with the phone bending in the pocket. Zing! <laughs> I mean, that's about what it comes down to, I think. Oh, wow. Let's see, I don't put, I don't put my phone in my back pocket. I don't put anything in my back yeah, pocket. Yeah, exactly. Get, so. Just, that ruins your back. <laughs> I mean, I, I drive about 100 miles every day for school. I don't put stuff in my back pocket anymore. Oh, no. That's what cargo pants are for. Just <laughs> throw it in the cargo pocket forget about it. Plus, yeah. no, no one's going to steal it from your cargo pocket. You would be, uh, you would know it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hey, you trying to get to know me better? or? Uh... <laughs> hey, yeah, what's going on here? <laughs> Usually, people don't give these for free. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know. like, back pocket, I, I, as the magician and whatnot, I did train myself on a few methods of that for stage performance, and there's all sorts of crazy stuff. Like, one, it's very hard to even notice in the first place, but two, if they want to make it harder to notice, they just got to walk around with a razor blade. They just slit right down the middle of the back pocket, and the wallet pops out, you don't even feel it. Oh, wow. That's scary. Mm-hmm. I mean, the only thing I carry in my back pocket is my back left pocket, I have a little thin notepad and a handkerchief. Okay. So Which, nothing thick at all. I have like a quarter inch in my back pocket. So, I mean, that's not causing any issues. No. You know, keep my wallet in my cargo pocket now. Phone in front left pocket. You know, pen, pencil, flash drive in my front right pocket. And you're all good. Exactly. Now, deck of cards in my left cargo pocket, wallet in my right cargo pocket. I used to know one card trick, and I couldn't tell you how I did it to this day. <laughs> somebody somebody taught it to me, and I'm like, oh, yeah, that's cool. It's... And, yeah, that's been so many years ago. I don't remember even how I did it. Yeah. I mean, there was, there was a trick to it, but I don't, I don't remember. Wow, I'm so good. I fooled myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, it's just like you spread the cards all around, and then somebody picked a card, and then you, they put it back in, and then you spread the cards around again, and you picked what card they had. Okay. That describes about 90% of them. Uh, yeah, I know. That's <laughs> why I can't remember exactly how. I don't know. <laughs> that was my my uh, broadcasting college days. So ah. I, was, I was under the influence of some chemicals at the time, <laughs> too. Uh PSA, kids, don't do drugs. Yeah. They just mess you up. <laughs> yes. That's why my memory sucks to this day. And especially don't do drugs if you're sad, because that's how you get hooked on them. <laughs> right. <laughs> Same with alcohol. <laughs> yeah. Only when you're sad, though. Yeah. Well, I mean, it increases the likelihood. I think. I don't know. I think there were some studies about that, or I'm pulling it out of my ass entirely. No, I think I think there were some studies. It, uh, it magnifies a part of your personality. Though. Something like that. Go go ask an actual doctor about it. Yeah. 
I mean, fight with HD. Yep. Because we don't have those. <laughs> Not yet. Okay, so... We are coming up on about the 45 minute mark. I just looked at that and I'm going to reel in my fishing pool. And as soon as I get one more... <laughs> Somebody's getting a little excited here. <laughs> Apparently the zombies are dying. <laughs> oh, they're, they're guarding their gut garden right now and they're winning. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's a fish. Oh, yes. And I got... Ooh, I got a ball. Nice. Uh, another puffer fish. And then three... Three fish. Well, I got some granite, some andesite, and some diorite. <laughs> nice. And on that note, I don't know why I'm going into third person anymore with the face cam. <laughs> we will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Check out uh, Greg's view on his channel. And make sure you subscribe to his channel as well. Yes, and be sure to go over and check out Captain Hook 5150 at youtube.com slash Captain Hook 5150 or Tim Overt, one or the other. Rock on. It'll be linked. As will Greg's. Mm hmm. So, like, comment, favorite, rate, subscribe, and have a great day. Peace. Hey guys, if you're new to the channel, thank you for watching this video all the way through. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Comment down below if you'd like to see me do anything in the future. Like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you disliked it, and share it with your friends. It really helps the channel grow. Also, check out some of these previous videos. See you guys next time.